So, Nick, is it form potential for you? I think I th I, listen. I think form is is really important in rugby. I think uh, I know people, coaches say I'd like to pick potential because I can coach them into form. But I like people who are playing with with form because they come in with confidence. You know, a guy who is performing well in a side that's doing well. It's really easy to coach that guy. You know, you, uh, it's it's. It, I think the heart, uh, what the Lions have got one player. So if you're not performing well in the local competition, you don't get people in the in the squad. It's as simple as that. So yeah. you, you know, you might say that uh, a player at the Lions has got a lot of uh, potential, uh, but uh, but if he's not performing well and the side's not winning, he doesn't get selected. So yes, form potential, a uh, bit of both, bit yeah, of both. That's... You know, I think that balance is vital. I just uh, I just feel you know from my experience, I'll go always with the guy who's who's on form. And he's on song and, and he's, he's, he's confident and we go that way. Often potential. I remember McIntosh used to say, you forget everything, Ian McDown and Durban, you forget everything, you pick potential. Because you can have a bad round of golf and you can have a good round of golf, but you're still a good golfer. But I don't know if it's so, uh, you know, it's a tough one. That's why my answer is a bit of both. Your side? Yeah, I think I think a bit of both. I mean, I'll, I'll use an example. A guy like Moa Noni, for me, never shot the lights out super rugby mm -hmm. compared to what he good did one. with the All Blacks. Mm -hmm. um, you look at a prop like Tony Woodcock, he played over 100 games for New Zealand, but you never really saw him standing up there getting man of the match for, for, uh, for sorry, okay. for, um, the, blues. for the, the Blues. Yeah. So it's, it's, a, it's a combination of both. I think if you understand the player, you know the environment, what will work for him and what wasn't. Unless there's a player that really shoots the lights out and you can't ignore him, then you say give him the opportunity to do it. So for me, a guy <laughs> like uh, Marcel Couture, injured yeah. for nine weeks, um, comes back now. He's also got a history of having bad injuries. Let him play three or four games. We know his potential. We know his yeah. performance. Let him get into the things. Let him get over the injury. Then you can look at bringing him back. So for me, it's a combination of the two. And if you've got a player that's done it before you and maybe not on form, but you know the potential there, then you're the guy that understands the system. You know how to work with him. You know where he's going wrong. He understands that. And as long as you can meet each other halfway. So, so I mean, there's a perfect example of that was yeah. at the World Cup itself where... Billy LaRue was playing some pretty average rugby in the exactly. semi-final and, yeah. and, and uh, you know, came and came and said, coach, uh, drop me. I'm not yeah. playing well enough. And uh, and the coaches said to him, you are our guy and you will have a great final. And he did have a great final. He played he played yeah. outstanding. So there's, there's picking potential. There's knowing what you can get out of a player, even though his form was looking a bit yeah. uh, shabby, you know, going into that final. And, and, and how's that for... Uh, to, you know, how's that uh, backing of uh, uh, coaches backing of a player? It must give uh, that player must say to exactly. himself, "Gee, I must. I'm going to have to produce the goods uh, uh, for these two guys."